Hmm. Yes. Frankens it is. Hmm. Okay, let's go. All right. So. <laughs> <laughs> I still haven't fixed the setup, obviously. This is off kilter, and you can see clothing and stuff on my couch back there. Um, this is actually like my tiny office where I actually do my day job from. Um, I might, I might actually show you in a second because I could just take this camera down. It's not screwed in or anything. It's literally sitting on the top of a pop mic at the moment, um, just covering my address here. Uh, you're probably wondering why all of this stuff here, and that is because uh, I'm going to a card show this weekend. So, um, yeah, that's that's a whole thing. This uh, is stuff from Cosmic, who I who I break with basically. Um, yeah, Jono that owns uh, Cosmic Sport Cards uh, is a good friend. Um, and so, I finally decided after a couple of very big hits that I needed to um, claw back all of my stuff that was sitting around with him. Oh boy, that's a big one. Um, yeah, I decided I needed to claw back all of the stuff that I hit with him for the weekend. Oh wow, I did not realize I had one of the... Okay, sure, that's... All right, let's go. Whoop. Oh boy. I don't want to damage anything, but I also don't want to shoot the pony over what I've got sitting around. My goodness. There is some stuff here for sure. Uh, is it any good? Guess we will see. Just going to arrange it all by basketball and stuff, I guess. Uh, let me just adjust this. I'm currently wearing boxes because I just got home from work, so I'm trying not to show my nads to everyone. That would be bad. Here's my bulge. Very bad. Um, again, there's just like, I've got cards everywhere at the moment, so it just, oh wait, it's going to fall over, isn't it? And I'm also trying to like, sort between what I'm taking to the show uh, to sell just to clear out um, or trade away and what I'm getting graded because there's literally like big piles of poppies everywhere and now they are falling over because of my piss poor planning uh, would have prevented a piss poor performance <laughs> yeah you know what? I'm sure it'll be fine. We'll just stick those there for now. Move this over here. And uh, keep rearranging stuff. I also went to an event last night. So I didn't really have time to clean up my desk. Uh, I went to a magic event. Uh, I saw my friend Gavin Verhe, which is a uh, lead designer with Wizards of the Coast for Magic the Gathering. And uh, didn't get to play a single game of Commander with him unfortunately um but the event was a success there was a bunch of people there they all had fun uh and i got to play the merfolk deck straight out of the box and just smash an entire table and make new enemies i didn't i didn't seem very happy what can you do it's just it's it's i didn't even augment the deck it didn't add to it it was just mm. Just it's just one of those things. It's just like it's nothing I could have done. All right, so the shine in here is probably going to be a bit bright, uh, but we'll try our best. And I guess while I'm sorting, I may as well like. Well, I mean, I guess while I'm showing it, I may as well try and sort it at least a little bit, um, so that we can kind of figure out. Okay, sure. Don't know when you hit that, but okay, great. Uh, try and figure out what I'm grading and what I'm not grading, etc. I mean, did that require a top loader? I don't know. I mean, a mag? A mag? 
it's uh, a good couple of hundred dollars worth of cards here by the looks of it, which is um, always good. You know, definitely have some fodder for the weekend, he says. Looking a little bit smug. Smug, see? But uh, I actually don't really know what's in here. I know some of it, like, again, that was my surprise just there of that RPA. Because there's like two things in here that I remembered and the rest of it... Cool. Just, uh, news to me. Um, I have a thing with one touches. Uh, I don't know if I've said this to anyone before, but uh, one touches slash mags, I'm not a big fan of. Um, there is a reason for that. For that. That's cool, man. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm not a real big fan of, uh, of one touches. Uh, I feel like they damage cards, but I mean, you know, just people, people in the hobby just absolutely go nuts for them. So let's do the basketball stuff first. Cause there's a lot of basketball stuff. So what is this? This is, uh, just a James Wiseman to one ninety nine blue mosaic. Uh, and then we have a mosaic. Piston of Galen Duran, which is a rookie. Uh, I don't know an overdrive, so I, I guess it's just a um, an insert oil. I don't know. I don't know to be honest. I'm not really sure. That's fine. See, look at that shine. That's that's why I've got to figure out the lighting in here because the lighting that's installed in the roof is like down lights, very bright, uh, which is great for inspecting cards. Not so great for doing something like this. Uh, how many? Of oh, there is extra stuff in there. Okay. All right. Great. Uh, Jalen Duran, rookie. We have a scope of Cade Cunningham, second year. Depending on how you want to look at it. Uh, and another Jalen Duran base. So, yeah, people will like those. Uh, and Fuego, Cade Cunningham. Now, these used to be a really hard hit, and they don't seem to be anymore. So I don't think it's worth anything. Cade uh, Cunningham in Breakout. Uh, then we have Jaden Ivy Introductions. Again, like, inserts for basketball just aren't worth shit, like, to be honest. Um, at least not from the low level stuff, the stuff that's like, you know, National Treasures and uh, Impeccable and Noir and all those higher end sets, sure. But uh, in this like mosaic and prism and stuff, like people just don't, don't really care that much. Um, speaking of Noir, uh, what do we got here? Showtime, uh, Andrew Nemhard. Signed in fucking ballpoint pen because why, man? I will never understand why they let people sign in ballpoint pen like complete nutters. Never understand. So this is 63 of 99. So it's pretty cool. Next up we have Richard Hamilton. Okay. From Spectra. Uh, Deep Space. Uh, he is a retro guy. And this is to 49, 26 or 49. I don't know if you can see just there, 26 or 49. Spectra. Spectra is a beautiful mid level set, to be honest. Uh, to 99. So, what's the 30 of 99? Kevin Porter Jr. for Rockets. Uh, I definitely know that some people will be after that. <laughs> and that is nice. This is Hot Stock Signatures Gold. So this is a gold auto to 10 um, of my boy Jaden Ivey. Um, that is a $400 card. Well, I mean, it's a piece of paper right now, but it's uh, redeemable for a $400 card. Uh, what is this? Flux Silver of Jaden Ivey of my boy. Which is cool. Uh, probably maybe think about getting that done. Uh, Jalen Duran base, which is probably sleeve. 
Jaden Ivy base, which I should probably sleeve. Killian Hayes, Pink Flux. Uh, I assume it's not a Sunrise or anything. I don't know. Um, but it's Pistons. Killian Hayes was an interesting one because I went balls to the wall collecting Killian Hayes. I uh, thought he was going to be the next big thing for the Pistons. And for a while there, he looked real good. And then he just crashed. It was just, just horrible. So I off-sold everything. And then Cade came in and was like the big thing. Um, and then when Jaden Ivey and Jalen Duran came in, Pistons started doing really good. And then it was like, oh, actually, they might maybe not have a shot at the championship, but they're going to go pretty far with a nice young team. So it's, it's one of those things. Uh, speaking of my boy Jaden Ivey, here's a noir uh, patch. Elegant decor? Is it? Elegant something or other. Elegant... I'm just going to say decor. Yes. Rookie jersey. The enclosed as officially licensed material is not associated with any specific player, game, or event. So basically, it's just a card with a piece of fabric in it. A three-color piece of fabric. But um, it is very pretty. But it's not associated, so make it that what you will. Like, to me, when something's not associated, it just means, like, why? Uh, and the last for the basketball is a Jalen Duran to 99 from Noir. Uh, just a numbered base rookie. But, uh, Noir's just very pretty. Just a very pretty set. Oh, boy. So there's going to be some stuff in there that we need to look at. All right, speaking of looking at things, let's put that one to the back, because you already know what that one is. Um, uh, got wood? Yes, I do. So this is a wood block echo one per box card. This is Red Skull. Very cool. And my cat is crying for no reason. Uh, then we have a power level juggernaut. Hmm, 25,000 power level, huh? Just an insert, really. Um, I need to check on the numbers of... This one here, I think this is actually just a base one, 8A, I think. Uh, hmm, Absolute Carnage. One of the stacker inserts, the plastic, they actually go like over a, a couple of cards and they all make it like a big trip digit design or whatever you want to call it. Um, <laughs> all right, this is a Kodo Mumuki. This is a, an anime insert. Uh, Captain America. Because who doesn't want furries apparently in their uh, anime? That's, couldn't resist, I'm sorry. Um, pretty sure I said hold the base. And I think that's what's happened. Because the base isn't in here. What I should have said was please send me the base. Uh, if it was Spider Man because I really like Spider-Man. Uh, but we have this Professor X, and this is like a moon variant or something, I think. Just like an, an alternate foil, basically. Parallel foil, but like a moon foil. Uh, here's the bottom of one of those stacks. This is a C. Oh, wait, maybe A was the top tier one, because this is a C, and I think C is one of the bottom ones. Wow, that stock feels real weird. Real plasticky and weird. I like it, but it's just bizarre. It's hard to tell if that corner is... No, it is damaged. All right. Right. That's really damaged. So that is not a grading target. I'll, uh, I'll see if you can see the corner. But, um... Very white. I don't know if you can see it up here, but I can. It's a very, very white, damaged, horrible-looking corner. There we go. We can see how damaged that is. Uh, which is a shame, because uh, it's Vulture. But, I mean, it's probably not worth anything, because it looks like it's a base stack, uh, which is fine. Uh, I believe these are one in every pack, or one in every two packs. So we've got uh, Stingray Foil, 
These are the, like the regular base foils. Uh, we have for the God Butcher. I want to make sure none of them are like numbered or something. So. And then uh, I'll keep it in the plastic. It's uh, in its sleeve. It's Mystique. That's probably something I might think about getting. Just checking the corners. Looks pretty schmick. Doesn't look off centered. But uh, that might be something worth actually getting graded as well. Um, but this was the real hit of the box. And this is a one of one sketch card by Castaneda. Oliver Castaneda. Um, so this is like a $300 card. And I'm telling you, man, like, wow. Just wow. Two really big hits last week um, out of this alone. And obviously, there's a bunch of other stuff to go through. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, that's been me, Frank is TCG. Uh, look down below for socials and stuff. Follow my other stuff. Like my posts. Do whatever you need to do. I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll get better at this type of content, I swear. This ninja content or whatever you want to call it. Turn on Windows backup. No. No way. Uh, yeah. So, that's what I'm doing on the weekend. This is probably going to come out a week after. Um, because the week before this will be about a five minute video of the Wizards event. Just so that you can see, like, how many people there were and, like, yeah. It was, like, a really cool time. Played some commando, as I said, and made some enemies. But uh, we'll see how this uh, how this event goes on Sunday, this card event. Uh, and I need to keep figuring out what I'm shipping and what I'm keeping. Cause like, there's a whole bunch of stuff we've got here, like that I picked up for half the price I can sell it for, and maybe I should be making money so I can buy a house. <laughs> that is a thing. All right, everyone. Thanks for hanging out.